What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's great to see everyone again. Today, I'm gonna to show you a cool installation that's super easy and anyone can do. And don't worry, I'll help you through every step of the process. So guys, if you watch my channel on a regular basis, and I know you do, you've probably seen these two videos. Now the first video shows Cassix wall fishing through the attic. The second video is much easier. What we do here is we run a Cassix cable from an eight port switch in one room through a wall into another room. I did both installations the exact same way when connecting the wall plate. I simply cut a small hole in the drywall, pulled the wires through, then attached the wall plate with anchors and screws. And before everyone yells at me for not installing the low voltage gang wall plate in those two videos, oh. take a deep breath. <sighs> do you feel better? So the reason I didn't install the low voltage bracket during the filming of those videos is I didn't have any. And I didn't want to drive 14 miles to go get it, so I made do with what I had at the time. And to be clear, I did install them later, about three weeks after the videos posted. So everybody chill, breathe. All right, sorry I went off on a tangent there. Back to the task at hand. Today we have two installations, two for the price of one. The first installation is we're gonna convert a one port wall plate to a two port wall plate. And we're gonna add that additional cast six line to the wall plate. And second install is that low voltage gang wall plate we're talking about, we'll do that installation. And that gang plate's really cool because it installs anywhere in drywall. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. These are the supplies and tools needed for this network installation. A drywall saw, wire stripper, a RJ45 crimping tool, a multi-tool with a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver, a network cable tester. This allows you to test your connections after installation. A punch down tool, a Cat6 wall jack plug, a wire boot, a RJ45 connector. These are the easy connectors. The two port data wall plate, a pencil, a cordless drill, a level, some Cat6 riser cable, and lastly, a low voltage gang wall plate. All supplies and tools will be linked in the description below for purchase. Alrighty, let's get started. This is the location of our one port Cat6 data port. Our goal is to replace the one port with a two port and add the additional Cat6 to that second port. Two things to note, is when I installed this one port wall plate, I did not level it with the electrical outlet to the right. <laughs> and it also did not install the low voltage gang plate as well, like I said before. And we'll fix both of those issues easily. And after you finish watching this installation, you need to watch this video to see how we installed the original data port. It's a great video. Okay, first you wanna remove the one port wall plate. Next, use the level to determine the top of the two port wall plate and mark with a pencil. Next, place the low voltage wall plate onto the wall, but flip it around like this. The front should face the back. Now make sure it's level and straight and now trace around the outer edge with a pencil. Now start cutting with a drywall saw and make sure to not cut too close to the line. Stay about an eighth of an inch away from the pencil marks. This low voltage gang bracket has a lip on the back side that should fit snugly into the wall cavity. Occasionally check to see if it fits and next once it's flush and level on the wall You can tighten the top and bottom screws Which secure the bracket to the drywall done 
this bracket can be installed virtually anywhere into drywall. Pretty cool. So now we're gonna add one more line through here, through the wall back here, to the other side, and plug into the switch, and then we'll have two data ports. And yes, it is going to be level with this outlet, so. These clips are super easy. They just basically clamp onto the drywall, top and bottom. It allows you to kind of maneuver it left and right to get it nice and straight. But it's not going anywhere. It's good stuff. And this is about $3. So now we need to cut a Cat6 cable to the appropriate length. Two or three feet should be fine. Next, connect one end of the Cat6 to the wall jack like this. We're gonna put this in starting here. We have the orange white, orange. We have brown, brown white. Flip over this side, green. Green, white, white, blue, and then blue. The next thing you want to do is easy. Just go down, punch these down all the way. They can, they can, they need to connect all the way at the bottom here, like that. So like that all the way, and there we go. Oh, should be good there. Yeah, and we'll trim the rest of this off, and we're good to go. All right, so let's put the wire cap on top here. It's no biggie here. Next, connect the RJ45 connector to the other end, like this. Then I'll slide through here. So let's do that real quick, and there we go. We're in the correct order here. I need to trim a little bit of the top here off. Let's trim this a little bit. Yep, get easier to go into the uh, connector in one of these, yeah? Just slide that in, it's real easy. Make sure they're all lined up well. Slide it in. Push it all the way up. Going like this that all the way in, press in, press down, and press hard. There we go, put the boot on, and we're good to go. Now put it through here, and fill it right here. It's gonna run through to the other side of the wall. It's on the other side of the wall. We're good to go. Now we have two instead of one. Well guys, we're all done here. I wanna thank you so much for watching. And I wanna encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.